four-digit extension. Please enter. For police emergency and not a emergency dispatch. Yeah, I'm trying to make a complaint against an officer. I have a right to do that at the time of the complaint. I've been trying to get a hold of um, somebody for um, a few um, days now. Um, and uh, when I basically did talk to somebody, they harassed me, um, calling me mentally ill for speaking against uh, the heinous crimes of police, um, falsifying reports, and... Um, Manipulating, obstructing justice, and manipulating my words, um, falsely accusing me of saying things I did not say. Um, and the thing is, it is a law that I, it is a requirement of police to take my complaint at the time I have a complaint. Not like an, like another time, another day, or another hour. It's all, I put it on the police page and on my police page. Um, <clears throat> these, um, these requirements by police. And um, I'm being like um, continuously manipulated. What's that? Yes. One second, I'm going to send you to the uh, sergeant. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is um, Teresa Lockwood. Hi, Ms. Lockwood. How, how can I help you? Um, yeah, I've been, I've been calling, uh, today. I got harassed, um, by a police officer, uh, today, uh, Cav Cavanero. Oh, yeah, Sergeant Cavanero told me that he handled yeah. Yeah, he he's sitting there, he asked me, apparently, and admitted it before, calling me mentally ill, um, when I'm sitting there trying to make a complaint. This is a ha habit of corrupt officers where if you speak against a police officer or if you speak against domestic violence or calling the victims uh, mentally ill. Um, I'm not mentally ill, by the way. And being a victim and being an, uh, an intelligent, um, well, white woman, religious white woman is not a mental illness. Um, to actually even say that is a severe mental disorder. And it is a psychopathy that is being displayed by um, police. Um, that I'm encountering that actually destroyed my life, um, while they're sitting there attacking victims of domestic violence. Okay. Um, I'm a religious woman. That means, um, righteous of the laws of justice, by the way, <laughs> uh, religious can only be anything that is right against what is wrong. So, um, I respect the law. I'm a good person and I don't commit crimes. I've never committed crimes. And, um, the thing is I'm being criminalized for, for being a victim, um, of crime. So heinous crimes. Okay. And unfortunately I actually had to call, um, police a number of times, just not too long ago in the last month because I was being robbed and everybody just like attacking me and stuff and taking advantage of me because of my situation. So, um, which I avoided doing for a while. Um, so the thing is, is just that, um, I'm looking for, like somebody who respects laws of justice religiously, okay? Um, and not people who think they can just wear a uniform and harass people whoever they want and slander um, victims to make sure we're not heard and, and silenced or whatever. I'm not calling like a criminal, um, Nazi, like delusional, psychopathic, cult or whatever. I'm calling law enforcement. So when I call law enforcement, I expect to only really, well, speak to law enforcement. 
So um, I'm not calling to be harassed and slandered and these games being played and all these other things or whatever. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a grown woman. I don't, I don't play these little, um, I mean, they're, these police officers are acting like juvenile, juvenile delinqu delinquents on drugs or something. Hello? Yes, ma'am. I'm listening. So, um, I don't, I don't play these games. I don't, I, I, even when I was a child, I didn't play these games. I mean, it was, I mean, I stayed away from those, those, um, those type of people. I mean, I'll be teen or whatever. I didn't, um, even deal with, um, people who, who I, I didn't even, I never even, I don't, I don't even think I even dealt with people who like thought like, like, like this that I'm dealing with. Um, I, I'm, I, I can't even, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. So, you know, um, look. I'm, I, I'm originally called in regards to I was manipulated by Officer Miller, and it's on video. Let's say um, um, altered the video like they had done it in the past, but um, I made a complaint about a theft. Somebody kept stealing me my money, my money, and I basically was you know merciful to them and you know gave them chances to try to talk to them or whatever because I know they have like in them like a you know a good conscience, they know it, you know, a lot of people show that and display it, and they willfully just do wrong to people, so, you know, I was trying to work with this person, not to be like, you know, just act like these other people who just did me wrong or whatever, but, you know, they still took advantage of me, and, you know, the officer was trying to control my conversation and pit my words against the other things I just said, and divide them in half, it's kind of like cult abuse, I've already, I mean, I've already written about it over the years, dealing with churchy and people, um, it, it's just, a, it's a nasty evil that people do. And it, it's, a, I told him, I said, stop obstruction. I'm sorry, stop obstructing justice. And, um, so I said, I'm not going to even deal with you. And yeah, I called him a white maggot and a misogynist is white maggot or whatever. But he was pissing me off because he was gaslighting me. He was manipulating me, messing with my head or whatever. And like, I, I, I'm, I, I'm like in distress and I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that. That's not what I'm calling officers for. So if people are going to behave like that around me, no, you're not allowed to talk to me. But you, I, I have a right to law enforcement services um, and not deal with, like, I mean, I'm not calling, like, a crack house, okay? This is what it seems like it, when I'm dealing with police. And it's just like this is, it, it's just, uh, it's disturbing. So the thing is, on reports also, um... A couple of reports where I'm dealing with the people who were robbing me and things like that, acting like they cared to sit there and help me, you know, work on my house or whatever. Um, you know, they just took advantage of the situation. They were just like hustling skanks. And um, I had a fire like three people throughout time and my house is left vandalized in a wreck. So, and then I'm being vilified and, and blamed and false guilt trips put on me like it's my fault and things flip backwards, acting like I owe them money when I overpaid these people. Um, so, the thing is, is, you know, there, I'm, I'm reading these reports, there's strange things in reports, like I'm going to put the report in your narrative, because I use the word narrative, um, and just putting these words, like, on, on my statements that, I, you know... And things like that, and there's like other strange things. Like I mean, I'm on a flag list. I, when I spoke to Cavanera, oh, you're not on a flag list. It's on my report, and you know, I don't know. I mean, it's risky for I don't know what what the motive is for for making it. I know I'm on a fat flag list. I've been on a flag list for decades, and because I'm a prime credible witness against um, called child sexual abuse, um, and um, domestic violence, and because I'm I'm an intelligent woman. Um, because I basically speak against cult abuse and I expose like a lot of things, corruption and how these churches are like destroying society. So, and they're not Christian. I proved that they're not Christian. So a Christian is anybody who hears the truth. Even an atheist can be Christian. I just want you to know that, you know, people flip out when I say that, but it just means somebody who's a hearer of truth and walks in truth and basically does what is right. So, um, the thing is, it's just that, um, you know, I've been persecuted, hate crimes being committed against me by fraudulent Pentecostals in the police department and other denominations or whatever, because I don't believe Jesus is God. They destroyed my children over it. That was the Nazarene Raymond Church or whatever, formerly known as the Von First Church of Nazarene. And I've been continuously being persecuted. I've been persecuted on a weekly basis for like almost 30 years already in Vineland and trying to silence me because I'm a witness or whatever. Um, a prime witness to cult abuse. So 
the thing is, is um, I, like police just got churches involved. They think it's funny promoting the Pentecostal fraudulent uh, cult or whatever on their page or whatever because they're persecuting uh, Christianity. Uh, Christianity, like I said, is anything that is true, laws of judges, true wisdom, true wisdom, knowledge, understanding, just to simplify it. So people are very confused what that is. I mean, these churches are Christian. So the thing is, I prove God exists. I'm a, th I'm a, a theologian, a theological genius, biblically and spiritually. Um, and basically, you know, I'm being attacked and persecuted because I basically um, specialize against like um, – people uh like biblical against biblical abuse and brainwashing and stuff so um i'm being persecuted for my knowledge i'm basically slandered by your your police and your fraudulent pentecostals saying i'm be, trying to be like god because i'm speaking knowledge of god well you know knowledge of god is like god so um i can't possibly be like god since i'm a portion of god a very small small portion so um the thing is is um <clears throat> You know, I look. So they're they're manipulating my reports. They're altering my reports. I just had my daughter. I think it is she was brainwashed by police or whatever to abuse me. And um, like my son was, I reported before he was like what is er erroneously known as radicalized. Um, it's it's a wrong uh, term, but uh, propagandized or whatever to basically kill me. I mean, my they brain they use Pentecostals to brainwash my son and sit there and tell him that women are of the flesh and men are of the spirit, and you must kill the flesh. So this is what they try to brainwash my son to do um, to kill me or whatever. Which I you know is really these things are really painful. So my daughter signed a false complaint against me or whatever, which I never even touched her and basically are echoing words that I've actually said to her in the past when she's punched me in the head and, um, she's flipping things backwards and, um, it's just like everything, everybody thinks it's a joke and then they're attacking me because I'm actually speaking against, well, my offspring who basically are cursed by God, by the way, for just honoring me. Um, because I am a minister of God. That means just simply, you know, one who's of God. Um, minister means um, to serve or to servant. Um, so the thing is, is just that, like, I, I continue to go this through these things. Should I expect it? Yeah, but the thing is, I also expect it. Yes, I do have expectations of us having a law enforcement to um, do good for humanity and only justify what is just, true, and right, and basically, um, like, do not justify, well, what is evil, criminal, or whatever. And the thing is, is the police have made a false record for me and I'm being mocked or whatever and called mentally ill, which I have over the have been called mentally ill for being a victim of abuse and crime by police officers, destroying not only my life, but my children. But my children willfully um, came against me or whatever, try to justify my abusers or whatever and try to make like get money from like uh, um I'm going to say my prisoner or whatever and, um, and basically use them. And she's in for a shot because I am going to do a video about her or whatever expose her because God cursed her. And, um, it is very true. There's so much evidence of it and it's no, that's not crazy. And no, that's not delusional. And that's not mentally ill. And there's a, a strong like knowledge principle that I can confirm within itself of what that is or whatever. Because the thing is, because she tried to justify and get money from my rapist and stuff and basically play, act like and try to use him to play her, her little sugar daddy or whatever and try to get attention from her or whatever for money. She And God, God's had her ma name her own child um, after a mythical false god or uh, whatever that is a rapist to curse her. Like her. She's already marked as being cursed for what she did to me. And the thing is... Um, I mean, there's like evidence and traces all through it. Like you can see the patterns and it's really, I mean, to me, like she murdered my daughter is what it, how I feel. And this is, I mean, I'm in a lot of pain and, um, it, it's just like, I'm in agonizing pain over it. Like that, she was my angel and, you know, Donald deliberately destroyed my children and he was told to by police and, um, um, I like look at their face and it's just like it's something else it's something else that murdered my children um 
and they torture me and they abuse me and they do all kinds of evil things against me and scapegoat me and the same thing keeps happening over and over and over please scapegoating me these people that came here that I hired I just like observed and they all, they all have the same behavior scapegoating me these backwards just using me being all nice they know they know they have a good con they know what the good conscience and what it is to do good they know they act all compassionate or whatever they just sit there and just want to suck the life out of you and just rob you and um it's just like this is most of the people are is is just a fallen society society and um just becoming more and more and more evil and um you know the, the, the you know, whatever i'm just um um i don't know I don't know. Are you there? Uh, I'm here. I'm here just listening, ma'am. I don't want to cut you off. Well, I just, um... <laughs> I'm sorry you're going through this, Teresa. <laughs> I just don't, I don't, you want I, I want to reach out to somebody and know that there's another human being there. I, that's all, you know, and I try to, you know, I even had low lives come here just to like connect to another human being or whatever and even try to enlighten them or whatever and be merciful to all the things and damages they were doing to me or whatever. And it, it was just like reflective of my children. They did the exact same thing my children did and it hurt and, um, you know, and it was just like another experience or whatever, but they just, they just destroyed everything. Um, um, when I spent like all this money, I, I, I basically spent like $6,000 trying to fix my house and, um, they just robbed me. That's all they did. It just robbed me and just damaged everything. And, um, I can't, I can't understand. I, don't, I can't understand. I need to speak to, I need to know there's a human being. I don't feel like these people are human beings. I mean, I can say that and thinking that all day. This is so inhumane. I can't, you know, people going around acting like, oh, you think you're better than everybody. That's why I am better than evil people. I wouldn't do this to people. I would never do these things to people. And, um... I don't know who is human and when somebody's all nice to my face and I can smile, can crack a joke, I can have a conversation, I can do all these things, it could be just a couple of sentences, and then they just go behind my back and just rip me apart. So, um, they destroy my life because I'm not as evil as them? I wouldn't do this to people. <laughs> and, um... I'm just not understood by anybody. I don't. I mean, people don't have to understand me. I just need to like it's the humanity of basically good and evil. You sit there and talk to police, and you think police know good and evil. They just practice evil. They don't even believe in the power of doing good or whatever. And um, and they just give in. And I'm I'm encountering criminals when I'm talking to police. And, and nobody understands me. Nobody understands me. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how people can sit there and think like, um, like, I mean, people get a thrill. Like there's some power trip over like doing evil to people and like robbing people. And I don't understand it. Like their souls or whatever the case may be. And I mean, things are things, but they'll sit there and rob your soul and they'll just like, it, it doesn't matter. I don't understand how people can be so cruel. I don't even do this to evil people. I didn't do this to evil people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, I don't know. Police were manipulating dispatchers in the last few days. Um, and they were manipulating dispatchers so I don't talk to anybody in the evening and sit there tell dispatchers well, they sent an email or whatever. Um this morning already and they were having them echo it. It was manipulative and um to sit there and make sure I don't talk to anybody, or whatever. But um I was hung up on by Cassidy earlier. Then they were sitting there playing this like recording of like some like a citizen uh voicemail or something like that or whatever, just a regular person when it it, it wasn't a police um, you know, uh recording or message or whatever for 
um, police services or whatever when I specifically dial the police number and then when they transfer me or whatever or I dial the 4202 for the front desk they were playing this um, voicemail and um, that's cat. They, I was told it was Cassidy and um, then the last time they basically said there's no one assigned to the desk and they did that before, and Cassidy has harassed me before and hung up on me and um, harassed me, calling me mentally ill and, and copying Officer Vi and making sure I don't get any services or anything like that or whatever. And there's a whole there was a whole mess of them just slander me all over, and they're nasty. The only thing they used was lies. No, they didn't use nobody. Police has ever used law against me. Nobody's ever used like true knowledge against me about anything because it's impossible. That's where I stand. And, um, I don't know. I, 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 I have a right to make a complaint. I put it on your police page and on my page and my, and my police page and, um, about that people, police are required to take a complaint. Um, and not like, you know, uh, tomorrow, the next day, cause they were sitting there telling dispatcher call back Tuesday and all these other things or whatever. For what motive? It had me speak to a spe specific person. Like, I don't know what people want me to do. And, um, it sounded very strange, and um, they were manipulating dispatchers, and there's other dispatchers manipulating other dispatchers, um, or whatever. But um, I looked it up because, you know, you know, I was given options. I spoke to um, a dispatcher, and um, she was very kind, and um, so I looked things up or whatever, and that's why I found. Um, uh, requirements for police have to take a complaint because I sat there throughout the years and they're saying I have a right to make a complaint. They'd say, yes, you do. You know, and they would just sit there and not make a complaint or they would alter a complaint or void out my complaint by, uh, by um, rewording my words and sitting there acting like I didn't make a legitimate complaint when that's not my words and they're twisting my words. Like when Dave Pilcher from Dave's Transmission stole like $10,000 from us, they're sitting there, made up a lie and sat there and said we loaned it to him when we did not do that. That. He stole it from us. He was supposed to cast a check for us and he wouldn't give us our money back. So, um, and then he lied about it. And then he's saying he was controlling and playing dictator <coughs> over us. Um, and he went up harassing me and, and, and yelling at me and doing all these things. I, um, called the police for harassment mainly. And another time before that though, for um, money and that's the money. Cause he wouldn't give us back our money. He kept changing basically like, um, how much we have left, but he was trying to control our money and only giving us a little bit at a time because we didn't have a bank or whatever, but we did not loan it to him. It was not his money. It wasn't for his use or anything like that or whatever. And he kept lying about how much we have left and things like that. I'm like, that's impossible. And he's sitting there just smiling like it was a joke or whatever. And then he kept changing. Oh, I made a mistake. I said, you owe us a whole lot more than that. Um, and he kept changing. Oh, okay. Well, I made a mistake. Oh, it's about like $2,000 is this. And I'm just like, oh, no, you know, you no, know, this is about like $10,000. And then I'm, and then he's like, oh, well, I gave you that money. He's like, and then the officer Miller was playing on words and copying Dave, actually. Why? Because Dave, um, Pilcher, he basically wound up, um, 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 I'm sitting there saying, I was just like, you did not pay us $16,000, right? Because that was like a total amount that he said we had left, and it was more than that. And then Miller was sitting there um, echoing the same principle that I was explaining in, in, in regards to Dave Pilcher and try to play on the words of where I was describing in regards to a Philip Col Colborn that stealing our money and I had different figures for different things. He was just like, oh, well, what is it? 150 or I, I'm just randomly, I don't remember exactly what, what he used or 250. I said, no, they're different times. I said, you're manipulating. I said, at first I talked about the last week and I said, and I specifically said all these words, but he was using the exact same principle as, um, David Pilcher and they know it and they're sitting there messing with my head and doing these things um, and sitting this, this thing about police echoing like other people what they do wrong to me and trying to uh, mirror it like acting like I'm doing the same thing or I don't even know the principal plays or whatever, or they're trying to sit there and say things. They can't say something directly. So they try to pull a response in the opposite, um, 
when they say do something so I can sit there and speak against that thing for something or somebody else. And the whole thing is they're just left in basically being a second false witness against me where they're just bearing false witness against me and falsely accusing me. Hello? Yes, ma'am. I'm here. I'm listening to you. Oh, yeah, that was all. That's probably complicated to follow or whatever. I know, cause if you, I mean, I wouldn't be able to follow that if I was like going yeah, from. Uh, I'm trying to take as much down as I can, but I can tell you that Sergeant Cavanaugh is. Uh, he took it down earlier. No, he called me mentally ill, harassed me. He sat there, oh yeah, and made up this thing. Yeah, he basically harassed me in the past, falsely accusing me of being mentally ill for being a victim of domestic violence. A number of officers has do, done that. They go around calling victims of domestic violence if they're crying or shaking or upset or whatever, mentally ill, right? And I already reported it to um, the courts and the judge or whatever, how they're human tra the police are human trafficking women of d domestic violence through the system. Um, um, and basically, um, taken with Christ, if you, if you're, um, um, uh, abused or whatever. And I told the judge, I sat there, I said, I was just like, yeah. And I said, they, I was abused and they sit there and ask me, do you want to hurt yourself or others? I said, why don't you ask him? I was abused. And I said that a number of times over and over and over. Cause that's what I kept experience or whatever. And they would harass me. They were like, just very rude. They treated me like an inferior it. Um, they made up things. I educated them. So they called me grandiose or delusional because I gave knowledge. Because I said, I'm, you know, do you have anxieties? I said, anxiety is not a mental illness. Everybody has anxieties. It's in our DNA. I said, if you sit there and I had, you know, my different, um, um, you know, circumstances that I use or whatever, for whatever time, I said, if somebody pulled a gun to your head or whatever, I said, you're, you're, you're going to be sweating. Like, you know, you're going to, your anxiety is going to go up so high. I said, depression. I said, that's the opposite of oppression. And then they had somebody slander me sitting there. Oh, she's oppressed because they asked me if I was depressed. I'm like, depression is the opposite of oppression. I said, I'm oppressed. Okay. That was a vine Nazarene trying to sit there, falsely call me mentally ill while they were harassing me and bullying me and attacking me and targeting me for being a victim of domestic violence that they're telling me oh it's god god protects his own if if you were of god you wouldn't be abused just because you don't have faith and all these other things or whatever they were repulsively disgusting and um that's what they did so the thing is it's just like i'm in depression yeah we all depress Okay, anyway, and, and the thing is, it's actually survival, and it is good. It is good to mourn over the evil things that are, are, are that are basically in this world or whatever, and grieve. It's good to grieve. Like, if we're going around all happy and smiling like these psychos, smile, I call them smiling psychopaths, like these smiling psychopaths do. Like, right? sitting there destroying people's lives, you know, that's they're considered normal. So, yeah, I cry, because you know why? I'm a human being, that's why. Why? Because it hurts when people do me wrong, okay? When many people start stab me in the heart. Yeah, it hurts. I feel. That's right. And feelings are real. So, whatever. But this is the whole, like, psychological, uh, like, torment that I'm always dealing with with other people. And it's because they're evil. And I know they're evil, you know? But the thing is, it still hurts. Why? Because I'm looking, I'm looking at people who, uh, what they're doing, I can't consider them as people or my equal, but they're still, like, they're, we have the same face. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Fat, ugly, if considered ugly, beautiful, you know, whatever nationality, whatever, if you're short, whatever, tall, whatever. Like we're all we're all people. But the thing is, I can't look at all these people as people. Like my equal, I cannot do it. Yes, I know. Okay, I can. I can. And I think you gathered like a, a basics of my complaint, though. Yeah. Uh, so I. I'm getting pulled in all different directions since I'm really the only one sergeant here. Okay. Get you to an officer if you would like to speak to one. Uh, so you're not taking my complaint? I mean, I thought you were, that's oh, yeah, right. I got the information that I have right now, but if you need anything further, just give me a lot of information. I'm going to transfer you, okay? Okay. All right, just stand by. Thank you. Uh, that's a lot. Oliver. Oliver. Needs to come out. I know. I'll feed you in a second. <laughs> uh. 
I have to actually. This is too long. I don't know if I need to sit there. I know he wants me to speak to. Yeah, this is Teresa Lockwood. I was just transferred to you by um, Santiago. Okay, how can I help you? I don't know if I want to do that all over again, but um, I basically... Uh, probably not, then. If you already spoke to uh, my sergeant, you don't have to relay anything. Is there anything else? Well, he's the one you? that said I'm going to transfer you to an officer. And so, what's, what's that? And this is who you have an officer. Uh, what? <laughs> Officer Rodriguez, you're speaking with Officer Rodriguez. How can I help you? Yeah, I basically, um, I called, um, to, uh, speak to an officer because I was harassed by a uh, first shift, um, and I tried to speak to an officer for days, um, um, on end, and, um, I just got the runaround or whatever, and I was basically, uh, harassed earlier by Cavanero, um, and I mean, I don't know. I made a complaint, so I, he said he he's getting pulled in all different directions. He can't make like I guess I don't know what why he transferred me or whatever. But I mean, he refused my complaints before, so um, I don't know why you treat me like that or uh, all these people are treating me like this and refusing my rights. But um, you know, and falsifying reports on me, but I was calling because I was being, uh, uh, reports were being falsified against me, and because I'm on a flag list to refuse my rights, which I have been for decades, because I'm, um, an, in quote, white, religious, intelligent woman, uh, who was a victim of domestic violence, and the reason why I'm mistreated in the violent police department. Um, so, um, I mean, not everybody... Um, I don't know, Santiago's been, um, I, I, I don't know, um, uh, person to person, I'm not saying, like, on, on record or behind my back, but he's been, um, um, what do you call it, what, like, you know, um, appropriate, I guess, and, uh, what appeared to be, and, um, so, I mean, I don't know, I basically, I had people rob me, and last time I reported robbing, being robbed, you were actually one of the people involved, um, to cover that up and harassing me, so I, I, you know, I don't really get it, but I'm being robbed again when I had people work on my place, and I made, um, reports and called the police, uh, for it, um, a number of people, and basically damaged my house, and apparently people think this is all funny, um, I mean, I've actually worked for my money in my life, like hard labor, um, you know, um, so, you know, I'm not, I didn't, I didn't mooch off the system, I'm not aware of a recipient, and I labored in the fields, uh, laboring with trees and, and, and um, um, and, uh, produce and stuff or whatever, but the thing is, it's just that, um, I worked like, you know, what is considered man's work, I don't believe that, you know, typically, um, in a way, but anyway, the thing is, it's just that, um, I, I was being robbed again, I made reports, and reports are being altered, um, and I don't know, that's, I was trying to make reports about that for the last few days, and, um, also questioning why I'm on a flag list, why everybody's treating me like crap, and thinks they can refuse my rights and abuse me and harass me because I'm on a flag list, only because, I'm a prime credible witness against cult abuse, um, and specialize in a work against, against exposing a sexual child abuse in, in, in church cults. So, and that's why I'm being targeted in the violent New Jersey police department have been for like almost 30 years. So the thing is, it's just that, um, um, you know, because I basically write theological writings against cult brain, brainwashing and Bible abuse or whatever. So the thing is, is just that, um, People are making sure I'm not heard or don't think I have any rights or I, I have the right to make a complaint when I actually, it is my right and, and police are required to take my complaints and appropriately. And it is a crime if they falsify the report or alter it and basically twist it to that is against my complaint or try to avoid my, uh, avoid the complaint out to make it not legitimate when my original complaint is legitimate. They're just trying to sit there and avoid, you know, um, 
what I have to say. Hello? 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 Put the phone down. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, you put the phone down while I'm sitting there talking. You think it's funny I'm talking to myself because I'm a, I'm a white woman? And quote white. And do you want to tell me, do you want to ask me what you were talking about? Because I heard everything. Yeah, well, what, what's my complaint? Uh, people are robbing you. Um, it's happened before. You were talking about the sergeants. You've talked to Sergeant Santiago before. Um, you were talking about um, the church. Um, I mean, I heard the phone. I heard the phone being moved and picked up, but I'm saying hello, hello, and you didn't answer. Okay, but that doesn't mean that I wasn't listening to you. I'm listening to you, so don't accuse Those me. Those are a few words in the beginning, so, you know. In the beginning, it was one of the last things you said. The other thing, you've, you've always disrespected me, and I don't know why. I don't know what problem you have with me, and um, with you, you treat me like an inferior being, and you, and you always have, and... The thing is, I've always been nice to you, and you, you think this is all funny because this is happening to, well, oh, a white man because you are in a delusion that you think I live this privileged life, okay? And you're all false ideologies that you think you can roll your eyes and all these other things or whatever, and you never suffered a damn thing in your life in your privileged life. Okay, I mean, obviously, you're so privileged, you think you can get away with basically committing crimes against people and falsifying reports and laughing at people who suffer. We live under oppression, okay? And the thing is, it's just like, you want to sit there and, and laugh at it. You think it's a joke. You want to sit there, put on a uniform like you're somebody or whatever. And, I mean, you're, you just, in the past, you've just, like, expressed that your conscience is seared. Like, you don't care about people. You think it's all funny. I'm sure you look at yourself in a mirror 20 times a day, all right? So, um... The thing is, just like so far, you've only expressed like a narcissism, okay, and like this little, like snarky little, laughy little, smiling, psychopathic like attitude. Like you think it's all funny. So, um, I don't know. You sit there. You just remember when you're sitting there being used by abusive men to sit there and and told to to mistreat me or falsify reports yeah, on me. Just me? think, they're using you to destroy yourself. I'm just saying. Okay, thank you. Do you have any further questions for me? Are you going to take my report? I'm not taking your report. You raised up with Officer Santiago, uh, Sergeant Santiago. My uh, no, she, he, no, he called, he transferred me for you to take my report. No, he, he did not. You oh, yes, he that. did. Why do you think he transferred me to you? Because I was the only officer available and he has to go. For what? Officer available for what? Do you need me for anything else? Uh, you know, I'm really tired of you people, like, leeching off our tax dollars when we worked hard for our money and basically pay taxes. You're, you're, I don't know what you're trying to do right now. Yeah, no. You, you know, you've harassed me in the past a number of times, okay? You can sit there and play your little games. You harassed me. You falsified reports on me, and I reported you before, okay? And laughing at me with other officers and things like that or whatever, um... I'm sorry, laughing, uh, yeah, at me uh, with other officers who will harass me and abuse me because you want to get like a little special t attention uh, from male officers and you think you're a little special or whatever. And, you know, with your little flirting and your little flattery and your strat and your set self around or whatever, you need to, you need to hold yourself like a, a, a woman of dignity and get some class, okay? And uh, that's like so D class A. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bitch.